So, where to begin? I first started YouTube because I watched Log.Sip and was Kirkham Slice. Was Kirkham Slice being my sister, or Sip being one of my most favorite Minecraft YouTubers. I saw how great they were videos, and I wanted to do something with myself. So, years ago, I wanted to have a YouTube channel, so I decided I was. This is. This was a long time ago. I have no idea how many years ago this was. This was ago. I decided I was going to make a um, YouTube logo just for the future when I get a channel. And I drew a Minecraft grass block with a Sonic logo in the middle and like another thing on the side. And I thought in the end not to go with that. I mean, I didn't. It's a complicated story. I kind of had the logo and I wanted to use it. But then, years later, when I actually made a YouTube channel, I totally forgot about the logo and made a whole new one. So, a few months back, I decided, I remembered the logo and decided, wow, I forgot about that logo. I'm gonna go and make a Photoshop version of it. And that's this. This is the Photoshop version of the logo I drew all those years back. So I never thought of using because I just totally forgot about it. Now, when I first thought about actually, when I first actually made my channel back in early 2020, I was trying to think of a good logo because I totally forgot about this one. And I can't, I drew something that, and this is a Photoshop version of what I drew. I came up with something like this. This is like something I came up with like. And I thought it was pretty good, but one of my best friends um, told me that this logo was too spread out. Not, he, he thought everything should be more like it was one in unison. So, he told me he would take the things that he had from this and make a logo out of it that looks better. So, and the person who did, the person who's my best friend, he's in Control Freak. Um, I'll put his channel in the description. But, yeah, so, I let him do it, and he drew it, and I colored, he drew it, and he showed me a picture, and I drew the exact same thing, but instead of a color. And I don't actually have a photo of the original picture, but it was something like this, but instead with a Season 12 Ninjago mask over Sonic. Now that's how it was for a while, but then when Season 13 was the thing, I wanted to change that. But instead of drawing the logo, I wanted to do try to do Photoshop. At the time, I had just started out with Photoshop. So I had no idea how to do anything like that. So it ended up like this. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But then, like a few months later, I at the price I started getting pretty good and it turned out like this. So I'm going to season 13 mask and everything. And this was a pretty good logo. And I liked how it turned out. So then, it was like this, and then season 14 came out, and it became this. Now, over time, it was like this, but I slowly added more stuff, and took stuff out of the logo, like small little details on the side. But eventually this, when season 15 came out, came out turned into this. Way bigger logo. Huge. And this was the logo. And this was the logo that I used on X Wing to argue. It has all the things on the side. And then this just not too long ago changed to this, my coil logo. Now I just recently changed my uh profile picture on YouTube to a footage of this, but glitchy. Like a glitchy effect on it. But this is my initial coil logo. So, I went from this 
to this, to down this. And that's basically the uh, history of my logos. Now, if you are on video on me pointing out everything in the logos, like explain what everything stands for in this in my current logo, because I am planning to make a video on what everything in my current logo stands for. That will be a while if I make that video because that's a hundred subscribers. I just reached forty, so you're gonna be waiting a while before I make that video where I explain everything on this current logo. Anyways, that's everything about it so like subscribe hit the bell and I'll see you guys in the next one Booyah.